Before we get into the video, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. I mean, come on, what are you doing? If you're not subbed to me by now, my content is fire from stop motions, news videos, reviews, music occasionally. All my social media accounts are linked down below. And now, let's get straight to it. What's up, you guys? Thank you for clicking on this video. Hope everyone watching this is having a good day. So as you can tell by the title, I have quite a bit of news to talk about and then some. So the first thing on the to talk about list here is uh, on a Chinese Facebook page of some kind, we have a first image of the Beast Wars Again versus pack, which is going to be a two pack of Air Razor in Inferno. It's going to be called Loyalty Duel. It's one image that's a little blurry. But you can definitely see it's Air Razor and Inferno, and you can see how the deco is different from what we got in Legacy and in Kingdom. And yeah, it definitely looks a bit more accurate to what we see in the cartoon. You know, Inferno has a darker color scheme than what we got with the Legacy release last year. And Air Razor is darker too from her Kingdom release from, uh, what was that, two years ago now, which is kind of crazy to think about. But um, yeah, these look like pretty decent repaints. I don't know if I'm going to be getting this per se, because I already have two copies of Inferno. I bought the the upgrade kit gun that's on eBay that you could get for like $15 or something like that. So I don't know if I want to triple dip in this mold when I already have two copies plus the upgrade kit gun from eBay. But um, I don't know. I do like the Air Razor mold and I do really love Inferno. I love that mold. I love the character. He's one of my favorites from Beast Wars and probably in my top 15, I'd say, of Transformers characters of all time for me personally. So I don't know. We'll see. I think the Beast Wars 2 pack that, I'm, that I really want to get the most is between Primal and Megatron and the 2 pack of Tarantulas and Dinobot. Those two two packs so far are the ones that I'd want to get the most but I don't know if I am just yet but this one's a close contender it seems like but um yeah this isn't too bad and it seems like there's some nice paint on his butt thruster too uh so which looks pretty cool so the upcoming issue one of the Transformers comic by Skybound is going to be dropping in I think October and they recently revealed some panels from the comic and some alternate cover arts, which I'll show the cover arts first, and then I'll talk more in depth about the panels that were revealed on Skybound's Instagram page, and I'll give you guys my opinion on what I think about the story so far, even though we don't know too much, obviously. But uh, these alternate covers look pretty cool. We've seen this artwork before, and then some of the new, some of them are new. Uh, the Starscream versus Optimus one is pretty nice. I mean, there's some nice artwork in this. It's really cool. Um, I'm digging the art style. It it really fits Transformers. It fits that G1 aesthetic. So yeah, I'm all for this. So let's talk about these panels that Skybound uploaded. So we have some of the human characters. One of them is Spike, and I'm drawing a blank on the girl's name or if the name of her is even revealed in one of these panels. But uh, they're basically setting up some sort of telescope or some weather device or something like that. And they're talking about how Spike lost his dad and Jimmy, which I'm assuming Jimmy is his brother. I'm not sure. But, and then they stumble upon the Ark, which is obviously in the mountain, classic G1, and they go inside of it, and you see, you know, the Autobots and the Decepticons, you know, in stasis lock, and that's basically all we get to see for the story so far. Um, through a typical G1 perspective, it, it, it looks cool, but, um... I don't know. Some of the hardcore G1 fans are probably not going to like what I'm going to say here. But uh, we've seen this type of story done so many times, not even in Transformers, but in just other franchises in general. You know, young teenagers stumble upon aliens on a mountain or something. It, it's been done to death, basically. And with how vast the Transformers universe is, thousands of different characters, or I was about to say thousands, uh, multiple dozens of different iterations of characters, new characters, thousands of different characters to pick from, a bunch of different stories to pull from and make new stories out of. 
I just hope this goes in a direction that's not just retreading the same ground over and over and over again that we've gotten from the G1 cartoon, G1 comics, all these different things, even IDW and Dreamwave. You know, over the past almost 40 years now, it's it's kind of the same stuff with G1 and it's bl- and it's uh, bled over into sort of Cyberverse and Earthspark 2 to a degree. I just think, I just hope we get some new, ah, there has, why is there a lawn blower, uh, or a leaf blower blowing right now? Ah, if you hear that in the background, there's a leaf blower, uh, there's yard work being done near me, so yeah. But anyway, um, I lost my train of thought, what the hell was I saying? Uh, okay, I just hope this story goes in a direction that is a bit fresh and new, and we get... New, I mean, there's such a possibility with these characters that's almost one of a kind with a franchise. I mean, yeah, you got Marvel, DC, Star Wars, and other different characters and universes. But with Transformers, it's alien robots from space fighting a huge war. Like, <laughs> it doesn't get any more awesome and iconic than that. Yes, keep what makes Transformers Transformers Absolutely. You know, Optimus Prime, you know, familiar characters, familiar looks and designs and lingo from the Transformers. Yes, keep that, obviously. But I'm just thinking, give us more characters that have been underutilized in recent years. Uh, one that comes to mind, I'm being a little biased here, but but my boy Jazz, one of my favorite Transformers characters of all time, I always say this, uh, he hasn't been in pretty much anything in the past like six years, so I don't know what's going on with that. Hopefully he's in this comic at some point soon. But um, yeah, I just hope the story goes in a bit of a new direction. Uh, you could even pull from, you know, different stories that we've already seen before and make it your uh, their own new story with this comic series. I don't know. But uh, long story short, I just hope that this goes in a direction that brings a fresh take to the Transformers franchise. And uh, lastly, in the last bit of news I want to talk about here is via Game Funhouse website, which is Hong Kong based, we have a potential first image that's a little bit blurry of a movie masterpiece, Dark of the Moon, Ratchet. Yes, sir, people, we're finally getting that Dark of the Moon repaint on this Ratchet mold. It looks pretty cool. Uh, For what we could tell, it's a small, blurry image, so you can't see all the details. But, you know, it definitely looks like Dark of the Moon Ratchet, and I do like the color scheme. It's typical, you know, 2011 DOTM Ratchet. Um, I just hope that, you know, the QC stays up to date, and, you know, there's no mold degradation. Even though this mold hasn't been reused pretty much at all, I don't think. I I think this is the first reuse of this Ratchet mold, but... uh, um, yeah, I think they pretty much nailed the paint apps for Dark of the Moon Ratchet from what I could tell. Uh, hopefully, or probably we're going to be seeing more images, crisp images to really judge from with the details and the colors here. But yeah, it doesn't look like too bad of a repaint for Ratchet here. But uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much all the news I want to cover in this video. Let me know, let me know down in the comments below. What do you guys think about this potential repaint for movie masterpiece Ratchet? Uh, what do you guys think of the comic panels that were revealed? Are, does it make you more excited for the story? Or does it make you even more skeptical than you were before? And what do you guys think about the new Beast Wars again two-pack of Inferno and Air Razor that just leaked today? And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!